raise your hand and state your name and organisation when asking your question. Alina, just in the semi-finals, just tell us how you're feeling right now. Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. Uh, really happy with the performance today and uh, yeah, just uh, really, really happy. Everything could click in the right moment uh, for me before Wimbledon and uh, yeah, I'm just uh, happy with the performance today. Uh, Antonio from La Repubblica. Um, what does it mean for you and for your country this incredible win today? It means definitely a lot. And uh, I know that lots of people back in Ukraine watching uh, got really massive amount of messages uh, from last round. And uh, I didn't really check my phone yet today, but I think... Uh, there will be a lot of a lot of messages, a lot of news, and I'm happy that I can bring little happiness to their life. Uh, there was many videos also on the internet where the kids uh, are watching on their phones, uh, and uh, you know this really uh, makes my heart melt uh, seeing this, and you know just happy I could bring little happiness to to people of Ukraine. Elena, congratulations. Um, this whole experience, obviously, having the child and the war and having this higher purpose, um, has, it, has it made you a better tennis player in the sense that when you're on the court, you're experiencing these tight matches in a different way than you used to? I think it's a mixture of everything. Uh, also, I think war made me stronger and also um, made me like mentally um, mentally stronger and, and mentally, you know, I, I don't uh, take uh, um, difficult situations as a like a disaster, you know, because, you know, they, they are worse things in, in life. And I'm just more calmer. Um, I think also because uh, I'm just started to, to play again um i have different pressures of course i want to win and you know i have this motivation like huge motivation to come back to the top but you know i think um having a, a child and war made me a, a different different person and i look at the things a bit differently hi, hi Alina. um the, yeah, that, was a, that was a time in in your career when you you were a top player but it wasn't always easy for you to bring your best form to the Grand Slams. I'm wondering just how different a big match and big moments like this feel now compared to when you were, you know, ranked number three in the world. Yeah, it's, it's different uh, right now. Right now, I just uh, say to myself, you know, I think it's, uh, I think it's uh, less years that I have in front than, than uh, behind me. And, you know, I have to go for it. I don't have time to lose anymore. And I don't know how many years I will be playing more. Uh, so I uh, just, you know, I try to tell myself, like, go for it. Uh, you, you practice for these moments, for these big moments. Like today I was walking, you know, through this, the, uh, the path where you go to the center court and you see so much history and you just realize, you know, you, you play, uh, you, every, like you, you practice for this kind of moment. So just, I told myself, like, go out there and give your best and go for it. And this really helped me and calmed me a little bit as well. Lena James Gray from the R. Uh, you said on court, if someone had told you you'd be in the semifinals, you would have thought they were crazy. Um, you're in the semifinals. You've just beaten the world number one. Can you win Wimbledon? You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't think so much about it Well, until you told me this. Uh, I take one match at a time. I know that there is a uh, few matches left to, to get that trophy. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't uh, want to think so much about this because um, you need to to break down everything to small pieces. I want to, you know, tomorrow to, to practice, uh, to work on a few tactical things for my upcoming match, then play uh, that match. Um, Marketa, she's a tough opponent. It's going to be a big challenge for me. So that's why I don't want to rush and think about 
about you know they might be playing a final might not play the final so you know this this kind of things i think they distract uh, so much uh, the the mindset uh, Liz Pugin's Daily Express. I just wondered what it was like for you to have the support of the British crowd today and also if you would like to say something about the way in which Britain has supported the U Ukraine during this conflict. Uh, my paper's one of the ones who's actually led a campaign in support for your country as well. Yeah, it's a massive support from, uh, from England and um, English people here as well. I think we got uh, a great uh, welcome uh, all all Ukrainians. Uh, we spoke a couple of days ago about that and uh, really enjoyed our stay. Really thankful for the uh, championship to to give us also um, extra support. Um, and uh, of course, you know, and, uh, generally speaking, um, it was uh, it was unbelievable what. Um, England did uh, and doing for for Ukrainians, so we can't thank enough for them to um, to do everything what's in their in their power. I heard many many stories, and uh, it's uh, great, uh, really unbelievable. I mean, uh, um, Iga was there saying she, she felt like you were playing differently than the last time you faced her. That your game had, had changed. Do you feel it's the case? Is it something that you've implemented with Raymond? Yes, definitely. I uh, I mentioned already before uh, a couple of days ago that I I uh, changed a few things uh, with my racket, with uh, my strings. Also, you know, I have different team, and you know, with with Raymond, uh, even uh, before I um, I started to play tournaments, you know, we were talking a lot about the game style, about the game style of different players. You know, we had this this time like I think three and a half or maybe four months to work on few things and also talk about it, you know, how um, how uh, I should uh, practice to, to improve a few things here and there. He watched a gazillion uh, <laughs> matches uh, um, of me playing different opponents. So everything like clicked together and I'm happy. Uh, on which path we are right now and uh, you know we are making small steps uh, towards uh, towards a uh, goal howard fender for the associated press uh where is your daughter and how much of a chance have you been getting to see her uh while you're here uh she's with gal right now uh at home um I was FaceTiming with her uh, just right after the match, actually. She was really distracted with her ice cream, so I was not, uh, <laughs> I was not uh, the priority there. She, she is still in this age when, you know, she doesn't care if I win, if I lose, you know, she's just happy uh, by herself or, you know, sometimes, you know, when, when, I, when I come back home, she's, she's happy too. But, <laughs> but yeah, just... Um, um, I enjoy enjoy see, seeing her, um, you know, happy with with Gail and uh, our moms are helping us a lot as well. And it's it's great that we have a big family and uh, lots of help. Danny Floyd, BBC World Service. Well done, Alina, today. A terrific performance. I just wonder if you could describe what it was like to be back out on centre court in front of that crowd who was so in support of you today. Yeah, it was like a uh, crazy, uh, crazy feeling, you know, I, I cannot describe it in one word. It's just uh, um, lots of uh, lots of good rallies. We had uh, lots of uh, good games, uh, tough situations, tough moments. The crowd was was great today as well and uh, really enjoyed, uh, you know, the the match, even though I was really disappointed with the second set that I couldn't win in two. But Iga played unbelievable and, uh, you know, all credits uh, to her to winning that second set. But then, you know, I tried to bounce back, try to again go again and, um, yeah, just uh, found myself winning the match in the end. Stanislav Ryk, uh, Polish television, Polsat. Uh, Iga Świątek supports Ukraine. She's still playing with uh, the flag on her head. 
And the question is, it, uh, what does it mean for you? And it does mean that this game today was a little bit easier for you? No, uh, it was much tougher game, I would say, because, uh, you know, she's a great person. She's a big champion and, you know, she do she done so much and doing still so much for, for Ukraine. And uh, we really admire her in Ukraine. And, uh, um, you know, in the way that, you know, when you're playing your, your good buddy uh, and then, you know, it's, um, it's tough because you don't want to see uh, her, him losing, you know, <laughs> so in the way it's like this because, you know, when I was away from tennis, I was really cheering for her and really happy with the results and um, really amazed what she, what she was, um, what she is doing is really remarkable. So yeah, it's, I would say that it was it was quite uh, quite tough to be fair. Can you, can you tell something about Raymond and how he helps you? Uh, he, we we talk a lot uh, about uh, different game styles. We talk about uh, my uh, the way that I play. You know, he's a uh, firstly he's uh, he's a great guy. He's a great uh, person and. Uh, uh, I think uh, we really enjoy um, working together on the court, off the court as well. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just something, you know, click together. Um, so far it's, it's working well, so I'm happy that, you know, we found this connection. I think from um, other times, when you start working with someone, normally, you know, it happens in during the off season and you have like a couple of weeks to work together and then you are straight into Australian Open. Us, uh, we had a more period of time because I was coming back uh, slowly, had three months, four months to work on a few things. We were, we could actually have time to work properly on on some things that uh, that we think that I have to uh, to bring into into my game, so that's why I think uh, it's a little bit different than other situations. Apoiner from television, um, what does it, this uh, semi-final uh, means to you after pregnancy break? Yeah, it means the world to me. As I said, I didn't really expect that I'll be in semi-final. Just try to take one match at a time, and I want to continue. Uh, going this way, um, have in front of me a big challenge, but I'm really, really proud the way that I've been playing against the tough opponents, uh, Grand Slam champions, and the you know the players who knows uh, how to how to win, how to play pressure moments, and really happy with the with my performance and with the, with the way that I've been handling the situation so far. Uh, Simon Briggs, uh, Daily Telegraph, uh, you said that Gail has parenting responsibilities. Is it possible at all that he might come and watch the next match or the final? Uh, I wouldn't want to change so much the things. I'm not really superstitious, but, you know, I just don't want to, <laughs> to jinx <laughs> a few things. So he's happy at home, you know, he's watching from home with, with Sky and with my parents as well. So, you know, they... He, he has his routines uh, as well, you know, before my match. And um, he's also, you know, right now recovering and getting ready for the U.S. swing. So it's OK. You know, I, I let him I let him stay at home for now. Um, Harry Styles has offered you uh, free tickets and said, you know, best foot thrust tournament. What does it mean to know that he's supporting you? And have you heard from anyone from his team about, you know, when you might be able to go see him? Uh, I checked uh, his uh, concerts, uh, upcoming concerts that left, and um, it depends how I'm going to do here, but uh, looks like uh, I might not <laughs> make it in the end because obviously I want to go home to see my daughter um, as well. So I don't know if I actually could uh, make it to his concert um, this time, but I, I really want. And uh, he, he messaged me as well that, you know, that any time that, you know, I... I could go to, to see his concert, so it was very sweet from him. And um, yeah, hopefully one day I can go. Congratulations, Bill Simons, Inside Tennis. Um, we're at this beautiful tournament. It's a fantastic setting. Um, but there are soldiers, uh, men and women in, in your homeland, uh, 
fighting amidst bombs and gunfire missiles. Um, what are your thoughts about those men and women? And if you could say something to them, what would you say? It's uh, really unbelievable what they're doing for our country. And uh, I can't uh, thank enough uh, uh, for their uh, bravery, for, uh, for what they are going through. It um, really takes a lot um, to go to, to fight for your country. And uh, yeah, just uh, really, really thankful for what they're doing for, for Ukraine. And we are here, all Ukrainians, we are here to help them to, to win this war. Yeah, hi. I know you're focusing on the semi-final. The Wimbledon crowd is cheering you on to the final. On Saturday, you could be playing a Belarusian. Is that a motivation? How will you approach that match? Well, it's still very, very far from, from that. Uh, I already played uh, Azarenka last uh, um, the, the, the day before. Um, so, uh, yeah, I cannot say much, but uh, my you next... fighting for Ukraine after that match. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But, uh, you know, I, I, I mentioned before each, each time that I play against them, it's a big motivation, big responsibility as well for me because, you know, it's different motivation as well from my country. Uh, but uh, right now it's very, very far. You know, it seems very close, but it's very far from, from this. You know, there's still I have to win some matches. They have to win some matches. So let's, let's stay here right now. We're gonna wrap up there. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>